Hey guys, quick video today. Um, as I, I don't make it a, a secret, um, the Amethyst channel, that I'm Catholic. And um, if you follow that at all, um, you'll know that Lent just started yesterday. Uh, Valentine's Day, we don't get Valentine's Day this year, superseded by Ash Wednesday. So um, I started bullet journaling in July of 2016. Um, and so this is actually just my second Lent in the bullet journal, but I wanted to show you what I did last year and what I did this year, um, or what I am doing this year, uh, to maybe give you some ideas if you're looking for ways to keep track of your Lent in your bullet journal. So last year, 2017, my bujo was my personal size. Um, you'll see several of my videos from last year showed that it's a uh, personal size chic sparrow. Um, at the time, I may still have been in my foxy fix. Anyway, I had an entire insert that I dedicated to my Lent. Um, and so you'll see it's labeled. Uh, and so my, like, sacrifice or what, a couple things that I was doing. Um, here's the first day. Or the first page. Uh, one thing that I was doing was I was going to just make one kind of sacrifice every day. Instead of making, like, one sacrifice for the whole thing, I would do a different sacrifice every day. So what I did was I drew out this sort of uh, crown of thorns here. And what I actually used was my friction pen, just, you know, the normal friction pen. And then I drew in 40 of these little thorns all over. And so they look sort of like this. And then every day, um, I would try to do one sacrifice every day. There are technically more than 40 days in Lent because it doesn't count the um, Sundays. And so if I got, you know, a sacrifice on a Sunday, I would mark it anyway. Um, and sometimes I doubled or tripled up if I needed to catch up. But um, every time I completed a sacrifice for the day, I would um, write what I did here in the purple. So everything in purple here is things that I did for one day. Some of them repeat. Uh, some of them were a bit more creative than others. And then I would erase the thorn and replace it with a little flower. So you'll see all these little flowers here. Um, and so I was able by the end of Lent, only barely, like I think it was the triduum and I was doing like three or four at a time. Um, I was able to get rid of all the thorns and replace them with flowers um, to sort of symbolize, you know, making Jesus's load a little bit lighter. That's the idea. Um, and so that's the first spread. Then the rest of this insert, um, this is all just paper that I printed out lines on. Um, I wanted to get some spiritual reading done. I hadn't reread the screw tape letters in a while, and it's like one of my favorite books by C.S. Lewis. Um, and so I was reading like one letter a day. Um, and so you'll see here, like I put the date, I put, you know, what I was reading and then notes as I was going along. And then the rest of that page, I would just fill with some journaling um, and sort of prayers. So that would, you know, vary the size depending on how many notes I took on the chapter. Um, see like this day I wrote, a lot on the chapter and very little in the journaling. And so that went through, I'm gonna say there's like, there we go. There are 30 letters in the screw tape letters. No, 31, there we go. And then um, when I was done with that, I had a different book, it's called Hind's Feet on High Places. It's like an allegory. Uh, it's sort of like the Pilgrim's Progress, I guess is the idea, which I haven't actually read that either, but um, I think it's pretty, a bit more explicitly Catholic. It was recommended to me back in college. I bought it on ebook at that point and never read it. Um, and so I uh, figured out how many chapters it had and how I was going to be able to finish it in time. And so I was able to finish that book as well, took notes on it and took, you know, more journaling and stuff. So I did not end up, oh, I did a little bit of a doodle there. Look at that. A little bit of a doodle. That was something that was in the chapter, you know. Um, and I did not end up using all of the pages that I printed out. I think, yeah, here we go. I finished the book, the second book here, and then I had extra pages. So I did a little bit of journaling on Good Friday and then that's it. So this was what was my, my Lenten insert for 2017. I thought it was pretty cool. I really liked this idea and being able to use the friction pen for something creative like that. Um, and then also, you know, having a place and like this, having this insert in here really got me motivated to finish the reading that I wanted to get done. And those are some books that I had been meaning to read for a while. 
and I would uh, probably consider doing this again. I'm not going to be this year, though I guess it just didn't occur to me. Also, there's very little room in here. Um, so that was last year. This year, 2018, um, I'm in this pocket size. This is a Speckled Fawns notebook. I showed my setup video for the whole thing uh, just, I think, last week, so you can look that up if you want to see it. Um, I don't have a dedicated insert in here, but what I have, it's in my um, short-term collections. So here's the index, Lenten Sacrifices, page 18 and 19. So I sort of coming up to this, um, I'm pregnant this year and you don't have to fast when you're pregnant and it's not a good idea just health wise to not eat anything all day when you're pregnant. Um, and so I'm trying to think of more creative things. I didn't want most of my sacrifices to be like food based because I feel like if I get a really strong craving, maybe that means something and I should, in, you know, indulge that just a little bit. Um, so I'm sort of like I'm cutting back on some things and I'm going to take it easy on sweets just because I always do during Lent. But this is what I came up with. Um, instead of listening to the radio or like a YouTube video or something while I'm driving, I'm going to be not listening to anything on my commute and instead praying a daily rosary. My commute's really short. So like I go to work for five minutes. Uh, it takes me five minutes to get to work and then I go home for lunch. So between all that, I can usually do about two decades um, each direction. So by the time I'm back to my desk at the end of lunch, I have finished my daily rosary. Um, and then just this, uh, I decided that I was going to be offering each rosary every day for a specific intention and keeping track of that here. So that's what this is. Um, these dates are like the weekdays because that's all I'm committing to, but there is room to put intentions for other rosaries if I'm able to on the weekends, but I'm not going to stress myself out about that because really it's just replacing something in my commute that's, you know, neutral. Listening to music on your commute is fine, but instead I'm going to replace it with something like even more beneficial. So that's what this is. Um, I'm going to be going to one extra daily mass per week. Uh, not drinking. I was drinking a lot of Coke lately and lemonades and stuff. So I'm only going to drink water with dinner and then I'm trying to cut back on some anchor issues. Um, so that is basically, I just felt like I wanted this page because uh, I was sort of, uh, trying to figure out what I wanted to do and kind of writing it down helped me figure out like if enough areas in my life were covered by this, if it was going to be too strenuous, not strenuous enough. So um, that's what I'm doing. I did a little bit of watercolor on here, as you'll see. Um, I just got these watercolors and I don't really know what I'm doing with them, but I thought it'd be fun. And then there's just some washi tapes to sort of decorate it. And this is everything for this year. It's pretty simple um, and it doesn't take up extra room. I like having an extra insert in here would. So that's what I'm doing this year. Oh yeah, I've got some extra pages that I pre-decorated. That's probably a different video. Anyway, just wanted to show you guys that and give you some uh, inspiration if you're still trying to come up with something to do for Lent. Basically, Lent is the 40 days before Easter um, and it commemorates Jesus going into the desert to pray for 40 days before he began his public ministry. And so in sort of solidarity with that, we give up things like we don't eat meat on Fridays and then we fast on Ash Wednesday and Good Friday. And then we give up other things and just sort of, it's a, like a, a 40 day long retreat in the middle of the year um, to sort of center yourself and figure out if there's ways that you can improve yourself um, and become more holy. So I think it's a really great thing. You don't have to be Catholic to celebrate Lent. Um, I guess you don't really even need to be Christian to celebrate the, or, you know, to get that idea of sort of a spiritual retreat. Um, so yeah, maybe that gave you some ideas. In any case, that is what I'm doing. You guys have a great Lent and a great week, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.